Kajiado County. Well, away from that brazen attack, President Uru Kenyatta today unveiled a state-of-the-art multi-billion national forensic laboratory at the Directorate of Criminal Investigations headquarters along Kiambu Road, that's in Nairobi. The facility is expected to enhance Kenya's capacity to apply modern investigative techniques and cutting-edge science to law enforcement. Lillian Muli has more. The forensic lab is the first of its kind in East and Central Africa. <laughs> The government has invested heavily in the constructing and equipping of the lab with the relevant state-of-the-art equipment in the 10 specialized labs within the facility. Speaking during the commissioning of the lab, President Uhuru Kenyatta said the long-delayed project had robbed Kenyans of the opportunity to make full use of the potential offered by technology and advanced science in unraveling crime. Today, criminals and their networks are using and utilizing advances in technology, as well as our increased interconnectivity to advance their nefarious goals. The forensic lab is also expected to help solve complex cases. As we aspire for a Kenyan, where every citizen, enterprise, and organization has digital access and the capacity to participate and thrive in the digital economy, a new wave of crime is equally emerging that involves such things as swim swapping and the typical Tumakwahi number syndicate, all of which we must deal with properly. President Kenyatta further said the ultra-modern facility would help disrupt criminal patterns through forensic laboratory techniques, crime scene techniques, documentation and proper transportation of exhibits. But the national endeavor here seeks to improve our ability to unravel complex crimes and therefore most consequentially support our criminal justice system through evidence-based investigations, enabling quick and reliable reconstruction of events, as well as identification of suspects through validated and internationally acceptable means. He added that the new forensic lab would protect police from unfounded allegations and directed the National Police Service to introduce professional development programs on cybersecurity for all officers with criminal investigations. It will also protect our police officers from unfounded allegations that have been there in the past. The lab is expected to be a boost to unraveling capital offences such as murder and robbery with violence as well as combating organised crimes such as terrorism, drug trafficking, illicit arms trade, counterfeiting, smuggling and offences against wildlife. Enabling our courts to be seized of high quality evidence and thus enabling them to render justice appropriately and get into a lightful and just convictions. The song about sending samples to South Africa is coming to an end today. The song about a file has disappeared is coming to an end today. The head of state directed the Ministry of Information and Technology, jointly with the Ministry of Interior, to convene and report to him in a fortnight on how they can utilize the forensics laboratory to build the capacity of the cybercrime unit. Lillian Muli, Citizen TV.